All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I wanted to make a video about another teen bodybuilder that has come up in the discussion on my channel. Um, I made a couple videos about who I think the best teen bodybuilder in the world is or of all time is. Um, and I got a lot of comments of people, you know, recommending different names that I look up and different teen bodybuilders that were also great for me to make videos on. And the name Shane Demora came up. So Shane Demora was a very good teenage bodybuilder who at age 17 in 1984, he won four amateur shows, including winning his class at the Teen Nationals in 1984, again at the age of 17. So in 1986, Shane would come back at the age of 19 and absolutely sweep the amateur divisions and all these NPC shows. So he was a middleweight competitor uh, at age 19. He was five foot three, 176 pounds on stage, which keep in mind is very heavy for five foot three. Five foot three is very, very short. So he would come back in 1986 and he would sweep all these amateur shows. So first he won the teen nationals overall. Then he would go on to win the junior nationals overall. And this was a very important victory because the 1986 junior nationals included several IFBB pros, including Sean Ray and Eddie Robinson, who Shane Demora beat both of those guys for the overall title at that show. Then he also won the nationals that year again as a teenager. So he st I, I believe he still holds the record for winning his pro card at Nationals as a teenager. Um, I don't think anyone else has done that since. So the first year of being a pro in 1987, he would play second in his very first show, the Detroit Pro. Then in 1988, he would compete in the Night of Champions and placed sixth. And in 1988, he would also compete in the IFBB World Pro Championships and place seventh. And in 1992, he would compete in the Ironman Pro Invitational and place 14th. Now, again, for most of his career, he never really put on that much size or that much mass. He kind of stayed within that middle rate, middle weight range and kind of never really looked big or freaky or huge. He's kind of always a smaller guy. So that, that could be why he didn't really place that well as a pro, but he did place decently as a pro. Um, but most importantly, we're looking at his accomplishments as a teenager. So as a teenager, he accomplished a lot. He won a lot of titles. And I would say in terms of amateur teen bodybuilders, he was probably one of the best in terms of titles won. Now, again, when we're measuring who's the best teen bodybuilder of all time, we got to consider what are we looking at? Are we looking at overall muscle mass? Are we looking at overall titles won? Or are we looking at overall aesthetics? So take that into consideration. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who was the best teen bodybuilder of all time? Was it Lee Priest? Was it Alexei Lesukov? Was it Shane Demora? Or we could even open the conversation to Cody Montgomery. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.